when I lock in my mind I lose sense of the time, on this journey I find I turn water to wine, I tune into the soul Then I find my bliss, turn lead to gold It's the alchemist What's going on world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here Back with another episode of Nalo Kiki Knowledge Today, we're gonna have a grown-up talk A grown-up talk about karma Why you should watch what you say Because it just creates negative karma So, let's get into it What I'm going to share with you guys here is a video someone sent me that was posted on TikTok. And so the reason I'm making this video is to show you guys an example of how you can unconsciously accrue negative karma or influences in your life. One of them has to do with doing low vibrational things on a grand scale. And then the second half is not knowing how spiritually protected people are and who you may be doing things to, okay? I'm a messenger, but you don't hear Gemini Brown speaking about everything in the world. I speak about messages that are near and dear to my heart, but the intent behind my messages is that they help others. They help shine a light or, you know, provide a perspective that wasn't seen before. So when you do things, you always want to have your your intent in mind. An example, we know that gossiping is a very low vibrational thing. You don't think holds much merit, but it actually does. Because one, you probably don't have any business speaking on that. And then two, you just don't know how spiritually protected some people are. So an example is if you're going to go on TikTok and make a video, you should really think about who, like how far this video is going to go, right? And more importantly, what you're actually saying. And if we could go to the golden rule, would I want this said about me? If I was a parent, would I want someone playing with me like that? So the short of what I'm saying is if you do what this girl did in this video, regardless of how you want to feel. True knowledge is knowing I know nothing at all. So for all I know, what she said in the video could be true. But in, in reality, it's not based in any facts. It, it feels low vibrational and it is low vibrational. And for this girl, I can almost guarantee you there's probably negative things that have gone on in her life since she made this video. So let's watch. My For You page is so messy. And if you're seeing this, yours is too. So anyways, listen to this story about Beyonce and Jay-Z. Beyonce and Jay-Z are married, right? And they have a bunch of kids together. Everyone knows Blue Ivy. She was the couple's first child together. And you see this lady right here? That's Kathy White. She was allegedly Jay-Z's mistress for like a really, really long time. Well, anyways, right around the time that Beyonce got pregnant and announced her pregnancy with Blue, a bunch of news came out that Jay-Z was, of course, messing with Kathy. And I believe the song, people are now saying that the song of Beyonce, Ring the Alarm, is actually about Kathy. And you guys remember this little debacle that Beyonce had a while ago when she was pregnant with Blue and she was on an interview and she bent over and her baby bump, her baby bump basically like collapsed. People were like, we understand Beyonce's having a baby, but maybe she's not carrying the baby. A bunch of drama has been stirred up all over again. Now everyone thinks that Kathy White is Blue Ivy's actual mom because of the resemblance. But get this part. You ready for this? Kathy passed away on the same year that Blue was born. And so a lot of people came out with theories saying like, oh, it was Jay-Z. He just wanted to get rid of her. And then they kept the baby. And then they raised the baby as their own or whatever. But then you had the little feud between Jay-Z and Kanye. And Kanye came out and said that he, Jay-Z, got of his mistress because it was a problem with Beyonce. And now with the release of Cowboy Carter, this has kind of stirred everything all up again and people are breaking down the timeline. So supposedly when you line up Kathy's death, it would have put Blue Ivy as like a six month old if you were like gestationally pregnant. So a lot of people believe that she was taken out and then they took Blue Ivy and raised her as their own and Beyonce walked around a few months after she announced that she was pregnant with Blue and that Blue is not her daughter. Now I want everyone to know that the reason this girl 
is accruing negative karma off of that is not because this is Beyonce. It is the vibration of what she's speaking about, how she's speaking about it. And like I said, the internet is a trap. This is, it's reinforcing the karma for you. Yeah, show it to everybody. Yeah, you're just giving your perspective. I'm letting y'all know. Don't go talking about people without the correct context. If you want, like, if I do celebrity horoscopes and stuff like that, but I know that my intent behind that is positive. It's rooted in a high vibrational energy. And regardless of how you want to feel, your intent matters. So furthermore, be mindful, y'all, this year, Saturn still going to be in Pisces. Focus on yourself. The North Node is in Aries reinforcing that. When you're not focusing on yourself, you're focusing on others and liable to be absorbing their own karma. So please, I love all my supporters. I hope there is nobody out there that is a supporter or a sole family member of Gemini Brown that is out there making social media content like we just displayed. All right. So that's my message for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. You're done know. Check out the website. If you need a reading, holla at me. Check out my book, Astrology of the Matrix. Till next time. Peace.